This is Chris back with another Top Down Review, and today we're going to be talking about the original Star Wars trilogy, A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi, also known as Episodes 4 through 6. So essentially, the original trilogy, as it is called, or Episodes 4 through 6, basically takes place during 1977, 1980, and 1983 and basically chronicles the journey of Luke Skywalker, Anakin Skywalker's son. So Luke Skywalker basically comes from humble beginnings. It all starts out when these two droids named R2-D2 and C-3PO crash down after their ship, the Tantive IV, is attacked by Darth Vader's uh, super, uh, not super Star Destroyer, just Star Destroyer. Um, who's chasing Princess Leia after the plans that were transmitted to her ship in Rogue One were taken and used to put onto R2-D2. Two droids make their way onto Tatooine and they come across Luke Skywalker. And Luke Skywalker essentially has to go on this journey that the little droid presents him that leads him eventually into the hands of Old Ben Kenobi, once known to be the great Jedi Master, Obi-Wan Kenobi. They go on to a journey that leads Luke down a path that will eventually reach some sort of conclusion in today's film, Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. So, Episodes 4 through 6 are widely considered one of the greatest set of movies, maybe the greatest trilogy ever made. For the fact that is the culmination of what Star Wars is, and where most of the people find their Star Wars fanboyism or love of the franchise and everything. I have to say I enjoy it. Now if you were to watch episode 4 today, you will notice that it is a very slow moving mo movie as opposed to other Star Wars movies that have come out, like say episode 7, <clears throat> or even episode 3 maybe. But, you know, um... I would definitely say that it is definitely worth a watch all the same. It has heart, it has emotion, it has humor, it has anything that is going to fascinate you into this wider world or galaxy that it presents. And it travels over a course of several planets including Tatooine, Hoth, Alderaan until it's blown up, <laughs> um, Endor, Bespin, Dagobah a whole wide variety of different worlds and everything. But over the course of these three movies, Luke Skywalker essentially goes out and attempts to become a Jedi like his father, Anakin Skywalker, obviously before he turned to the dark side and became Darth Vader. It has great performances and has one of the most out of left field reveals with Darth Vader be believing, uh, revealing that he is Luke's father, and it is an absolute privilege to watch every single year there's a new saga film, or just every time I want to relive the originals. It is the standard for what a regular trilogy should be, and I absolutely love every single moment of it, every time. If there are a one low point in this trilogy, is just the amount of different um, remasters that they've done. Obviously, the movies were done way back in the 70s, so there's been a plethora of different remasters that they've done. With the special edition, very first one that they had back in 2004, well, actually not the first one, sorry. There was the 1997 one, I believe, then the 2004, then the first set of then the other set of DVDs, then the Blu-ray, which was the very last, I think, remastered, which changed a couple things in addition to the originals, also with the prequels as well. But all the same, it's a movie that holds very dear to my heart as the very first amount of Star Wars movies that were ever made and everything, and it holds dear to a whole bunch of first-generation Star Wars fans, and is still put on a pedestal as the definitive Star Wars film that other directors today should look for in making a perfect Star Wars film, especially with Empire. But I can definitely say that Empire 
stands as one of my favorite films, with Return of the Jedi coming as a close third or fourth, obviously in with competition with Rogue One, um, because of its great uh, scenes and everything, and how it sort of builds on that whole rebellion factor that it has, but it is still a great group of films, and it is still and has looked highly in defense of the prequels. People enjoy the originals a lot more than they will the prequels. But all the same, I still enjoy the prequels and enjoy that everything Star Wars has to offer. But let me know what you guys thought about the original trilogy, whether or not you think it is the best trilogy so far, or whether or not you think that this new trilogy that was started with episode 7 is better and everything. Let me know. Leave leave a like and let me know in the comments below. And be on the lookout for that last Jedi review tonight. So I am Chris and I will see you in my next video. Adios.